What is up, Cancer? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your first half of March 2022 tarot update. So let's see what's coming in for the sign of Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the first half of March. Okay, let's see. What's coming in for the sign of cancer for the first half of March? What you've been putting out, you about to get back. Everybody involved, okay? I'm getting a masculine energy here that's losing a position, losing a job. This could be a, like, I don't know why I was about to say a spokesperson. That's weird. But this could be like somebody that got social media presence, okay? So somebody's page could be getting shut down, banned, or something to that extent. Or somebody is losing their influence or their affluence okay so yeah somebody could have been very popular this could have been somebody that spoke on things had a podcast you know the type of vibes that is giving me is like the male podcasters that you know the red pills or whatever but it don't have to be that type of energy but whoever this is that has some type of social media presence cancer they are losing that okay or some type of influence. Like people listen to this person talk and they actually take this person's advice. They take what they say into consideration. But I'm seeing that that won't be happening anymore. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And it's because you got the power. Okay. You coming up as the queen of forces here. So you balancing out something in this person's life. Or you balancing out something here. Okay. So if this person was trying to compete with you or something um shit it was chess not checkers and this person is is losing you ended up digging yourself out of some type of karmic trench that this person put you in i feel like some of you guys are coming into a love energy here somebody you was fated to meet and you and this person are going to balance out some past like karma all right whoever this person was again they take their affluence or their influence as, you know, they the smartest person in the game. They know what they're talking about. They ain't listening to what nobody else got to say, okay? This person could have tried to confuse you on your path because this was like a power struggle. So you got one person here that you're coming into union with now. But whoever this is, it's like you and this person could be mutuals or equals. Y'all can follow each other. Y'all can talk about the same shit. But this person, whether y'all was supposed to collaborate or whether y'all just on the same platform or whatever, somebody here was like in competition. They wanted to prove that they the ones with all of the mightiness and they the ones that everybody should be amused by and that they shouldn't be impressed by you. But you the only one that's still standing in your power here. In fact, you going into an elevated level of power in the first half of March. So you could be taking your power back from this person. Maybe this person had you in a tizzy. And you already know, when people make us mad, that's taking our power, y'all. Because it's like they able to shift how you feel. It's like, damn, I came into the game solid, confident, doing my thing. And then somebody, some know-it-all come around and, and make you feel this small. And then it's like, damn, well, am I as influential as I thought I was? Am I worthy of this title? But for me, this is giving that the problems that this person caused you at work is now doubling back on them because people are starting to see this person in a different light. A light that they don't want to be influenced by, okay? Yeah, so this person tried to make people believe that you wasn't a messenger of God. That whatever word you were spreading... It wasn't knowledgeable. It, like, you was nobody to look up to, okay? And this person could have caused a lot of drama in your life because of that. Because maybe people started to try to peer into your world to see if this what this person was doing was cap or if they was truly exposing you. And I feel like everything is balancing out now. So the conflict they caused in your work life when it comes down to your profession... Not only did, did did you get back up after this person tried to knock you off your square, but you got back up and it seemed like you unlocked even more, 
hidden knowledge. So you even more knowledgeable than when you and this person first made contact and people are seeing that you growing and this person is declining. Okay, things are declining in their life because people are kind of seeing this person as like, mm, I don't know. Yep, y'all no longer fearful. So maybe this person definitely put fear in you. Maybe you felt like this person's popularity would supersede yours to an extent where everybody would believe them because they are so like people was listening to whoever this is okay they looked up to them in a positive way and now people are kind of side eyeing this person putting them under some type of scrutiny yeah and this could have put you in a position where you was in a karmic cycle of like trying to creatively balance your finances so you had to get creative to survive like you could have went from abundant to that because of this person trying to like question or make people question your credibility okay whatever the case is yeah now it's like you getting a new beginning truth be told this person was inspired by you they saw things from a different light um because of you okay and now it's like whoo I don't know. You getting a new beginning? Yeah, people were observing like a mother lover. This is definitely online, y'all. So I don't know which one of y'all cancers got some type of platform or something. But people are starting to see that you speak truth and this is opening up doors for you. I see this Ace of Wands as people see you as an inspiration. They see you as somebody that is anointed. I see this hand as like right hand to God. Because ain't this a right hand? I mean, it's going the same way as my right hand. Right hand of God. I see you for who you are now. People see you for who you are and not who this person made you out to be. Okay? So, I do want to see who this faded meeting person is. I want to see who the King of Scrolls is as well. Who is the King of Scrolls in a situation for cancer? Because your person's energy, your new person's energy isn't quite showing up outside of the fact that you got some type of faded meeting coming at the first half of March. Okay, so why is the King of Scrolls here in reverse? Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody was mad you walked away from them and did not tell y'all this is somebody that's influential. This person is coming up as the Hierophant. Y'all, Eight of Cups in reverse. Mad that you walked away. Uh, Queen of Swords, because you could have... Oh, King of Swords. I forgot. This is a goddess deck, so even the kings are women in this, but this is this represents the King of Swords. So this person was very intellectual, smart, knowledgeable, but I feel like this person like underestimated the fact that, again, you hold just as much knowledge. This may be somebody that's kind of misogynist in a way where they kind of feel like men are more powerful, smarter. You know, you should just listen, whatever I say, agree with it, whatever my views are, conform to them. But yeah, this person was seen as a hierophant figure. So maybe y'all both are like intuitive or spiritual leaders or something to that extent. But this can be an actual Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, y'all. Ooh, yeah. And see, the majority of they following could be women. Because you see a long line of women up the steps offering to this man. So, like I said, <laughs> this person could have had women doing their bidding. They could even have women, like, uh involved to like cause illusions or spread lies or whatever but they they could have been doing certain things to try to make themselves look not as petty as they actually are but people are catching on like why are you doing all of that like if you really are as powerful as you say you are then why do you feel like you have to put this person down just because they are as powerful as you and at this point you may be more powerful because it seems like this person is losing their power for abusing it so, why is the faded meeting here? Who is the faded meeting with for cancer? Yeah, you got a new opportunity coming in that this person tried to get you to miss. Now, I don't know what this person, like, what did this person want from you? What did this person want from cancer? They wanted your intuition to be blocked or they wanted people to see you as a false prophet. They want to be the one. They want you to be a server just like the rest of... Where Where is that Three of Cups energy at? Where it was all those women offering to one man. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. 
they wanted people to see you as like a devil worshiper. So if you are a divine messenger, like Archangel Gabrielle, this person was trying to say you wasn't truly anointed by the higher ups. You was actually anointed by lower forces that you were giving negative messages or uh, messages of the devil is what I'm getting here. Yeah, so it's like this person could have been trying to portray themselves in your energy and, and make you out to be somebody that's in... Like, like I said, a false prophet. That's crazy. And y'all got a past life. Like, y'all got a history of this. That's what I'm getting. And honestly, this person was here to balance things out. Woo, y'all. So, y'all could have an earth sign that y'all supposed to, like, that y'all was fated to meet. This person might have felt like they wanted to be seen in that light or something. But I don't know, like, why this person wanted you seen as a false prophet other than maybe they wanted to be the only person of influence. They didn't want other people to be impressed by your energy. Okay? They wanted everybody to be impressed by their energy. Nine of Swords in Reverse. Including you is what I'm getting. So this person wanted you to be a part of their crowd. Like, no, listen to me. This person has been knowing that this is their path for a really long time. Okay? This person could have been 7, 13 years old. They could be 35 now. Okay? So, yeah, this is actually a part of their path. They just been using it, using their gifts the wrong way. Two of Pentacles. Damn, didn't I say abusing their gifts? And then we got the whip here. Okay, going too fast, skipping steps, like not doing the inner work, just like using and abusing your gifts, taking things from other people, taking opportunities from other people, just playing dirty when that's not what hierophants do. Okay, only the devil do that. Only the devil be with the trickery, the lies, the slander, the gang stalking, the confusion, the illusions, the trickery. That sounds very much devil like to me. Okay, and this person is supposed to be a hierophant. They're not even a hierophant in reverse. So, no, this person is not supposed to be walking on the dark side. They're supposed to be walking in the light. They're supposed to be leading people the right way. And they should be showing some type of respect or nothing at all to other people that are of the same status or higher than them. Period. Lower, lower, same level or higher. It don't matter. It's like, these are people that work in the same field as you. Like, give them respect. Give them respect where it's due. So, this person definitely was trying to work to block your intuition so that they can try to expose you as like like this could have been somebody trying to hinder your crown chakra but then say that you a false prophet like uh maybe yo your messages wasn't accurate at the time because this person was trying to infiltrate or block your crown chakra or siphon from it take the messages that you were meant to receive and get a sermon or they speeches before you do okay so let's see why is the knight of swords here i'm sorry the page of swords Whew, this person ain't got no protection now, okay? So they in a position where they kind of lost their protection. They playing on dangerous grounds. They tread in un uncharted territory. So it's like this person not supposed to be playing in your energetic field, and they know that. Now it's like y'all being blessed with a new opportunity, okay? With occupation in a, the um, Ace of Wands. The devil, yeah. Somebody two-faced. I'm just noticing here with the devil. It's like, yeah, this is what this person was trying to portray you as. It's like somebody that displays innocence, but you really this energy here. And they could have been trying to purposely get underneath your skin so that they can literally show people like you see. Damn, what is it? I mean, because this is so weird. It seemed like this person wanted to be with you. So what happened? Okay, we got to pull message cards now because I need to find out. Like, if we literally pull message cards the rest of the time, I don't care. But it's like, we we need to find out, like, what is this person's thing? Like, what did they want from you to begin with? And what was their purpose in trying to slander your name? Sometimes the why is not always important. 
but I'm just trying to gain an understanding because it's hard to even interpret this message when I don't know who this person was in your life and why they chose you to be the person to target. So that's what I want to ask, Spirit. Why did this King of Swords energy target cancer? If all it was was work, what did they truly want? What did this King of Swords actually want from cancer? Dark Knight of the Soul. They was trying to avoid some type of initiation, woke up and chose violence. That's what they wanted to do. They wanted to shift your energy. This person may have wanted to have a child with you. See, that's what I'm talking about. I wanted to see, like, what is the underlying goal? Like, what was this person's goal? Like, if they upset about something, why? And what is it? Like, why are this? Why is this person upset? Why is this person upset, Holy Spirit? Because they feel like they're your person. The timing was just off. Right person, wrong time. This person is a boss. So they just bogart shit. They don't want to talk about it. It's like, let me knock you off your throne. So you ain't got no choice but to be submissive. This person's priorities was unorganized. Because y'all was supposed to be bouncing ideas off of each other. Learning new things from each other. This person needs to fast, pray, and detox. So this is your faded meeting person. Somebody that's losing a they losing a stance. This person, they did this to you because you was the yin to their yang. And this person might have been a secret competition with you because they never met a woman that was as smart as them. Okay. Yeah. Adaptability and self-realization. So y'all took a separation so this person can adapt to having like somebody that's equal parts of them somebody that's equally yoked as them they need to embrace the fact that it's women out there that's like them okay i'm getting palm colored man or woman i didn't mean it in that way you get what i'm saying this is why i feel like i needed to pull these cards because whoever this is they could have tried to like dim your importance, but it's literally because they want you to be under their brand. It's like kill off your brand and come join me. So my thing is if you had your own thing going and this person wanted to collaborate, they thought it would be easy if they somehow underhandedly stopped your operation so that you can just have no choice but to join theirs. And this is the second reading I'm getting like that, where people putting up roadblocks so that some way, somehow, whatever they have to offer can look more appealing and beneficial to the person that is is being offered this. So maybe this person is like, they want to be praised so much, y'all, <laughs> that this person wanted to see you as a dancer when distressed. Like, wow, sister, I see that your business fell apart. I see that nobody is tuning in or listening well you know you can get a lot more of a following and people to truly hear you and trust you if you came and rock with me because i already got people that trust me so when i refer you they gonna trust you and when you didn't do that you know or i don't even know if they asked you or not or if they just wanted to rip a rug from underneath you so that they can have a reason to extend the olive branch like oh shit i see you took a fall can i help you up type energy but they literally the one that tripped you it's like okay i just saw your big ass clown shoes come from out the damn bush and trip me you know what i'm saying like, you know, because you actually are intuitive. You're not the false prophet that this person tried to make you out to be. So you sense this person's intentions. You sensed how the intensity of your intellect bothered this individual. And I'm not going to lie, but for a high priestess, that's not a turn on. It's nothing flattering about that. This person... Let's see. What is it that they want in a woman? Like, what do they want cancer to be? What is it that they want cancer to be? Why did one night stand pop out? Kundalini. This person want to connect with you sexually, but they figure because you see yourself in a high light like a high priestess that you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't giving out no coochie just for fun. <laughs> Is they dumb? They want a public relationship with you. I told you. 
whoever this is, y'all both in a public eye and this person wanted this to be a public relationship. But since you had your shit going on, they didn't feel like you would be receptive to join the forces with them. You probably just would have joined forces with them on certain days and still kept your stuff. But this person wanted to make it to where you didn't have no choice. Like, okay, you got to collaborate at this point because you need somebody to pull you up out the trenches because your name out here bad. But they the one that put it out here bad. But remember what I said, they used women to do their bidding. So they don't want to seem like the gossiping, like a gossip girl. So they like, let me get girls to gossip for me. They wanted you to change. But first and foremost, this person wanted to have sex. They wanted to they wanted to get a taste. You know what I'm saying? And then I hope that that was going to open up a door to where you guys collaborated in a public relationship. Okay? So, yeah, Kundalini, one night stand. This person might not. Like, they was hoping that sex with you was going to make their Kundalini rise. Okay? Can't tell the difference between love and lust. Okay, so something here is going to change in this dynamic in the springtime. Now, I know y'all probably pissed at this person, but they coming up as somebody you were supposed to balance karma with. Y'all, when this person come back, they're going to come back in this Prince Charming energy. We almost in the springtime now. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, they want to tell you that they grateful and thankful. Instead of them being a dickhead, they want to actually tell you. This person could have recently cut their hair off. Yes, masculine woman. What did I tell you? They don't want you in charge of your own shit. They want to manage you. They want to be over you. And they want to say, oh, I made you. That's why they try to knock you all the way down so that they can say, oh, I built them up. You know, they was in a vulnerable position. Nobody believed them. Nobody thought they was a true high priestess. And, you know, I took them under my wing and I dusted them off and look at them now. So it's like this, this person don't want you to be self-made. This is crazy, y'all. I'm going to wrap it up here because I only had 22 minutes left in my storage. So I'm going to have to remove some things. But hopefully this helped y'all out. If y'all was wondering why certain things became stagnant and y'all see somebody around y'all that once tried to pursue y'all and things all of a sudden go stagnant in their life, then it's literally because this person got caught like abusing their power with you, okay? Peace.